What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, um, I've just expanded my foothold in north, in north, well north, in the grand scheme of things northwestern France, but in the game of our campaign it's north, just northern France, northern Russia, sorry. And the Mughals and the Russians have come in to start trying to raid my stuff, but they will be defeated on the field of battle. They've not, the Russians haven't been pushing in Europe, but I'm more than happy just to sit here and hold one way their other ventures take place. Then we have another army being expanded in France, which definitely will be sailed in to hit Crimea and capture this region for the French Empire. Maybe raising another force to maybe threaten... I don't know, if I could take Moldavia. I could take Moldavia. Moldavia then bounce up to Kiev. What could just take Crimea then run straight up to Kiev, capture Kiev, and then just spit French troops everywhere? That might be a fun option, I think. Yeah, this idea was to take here, move, take Petrovskaya, take St. Petersburg. Yeah, I think that's still going to be the plan. Our research and tech is going along fine. We've got plenty of money. 71,000 this turn. So maybe... Let's make a general field marshal of the army. He can come out next turn to maybe support the Russian push. I decided that army... That you just saw for a split second in North America is not going to attack the Black Hills because as we saw in one of my other Let's Plays, or we'll see my other Let's Plays, they're a bit dicey. And they go all at you and they've had all the game to sit there and recruit elite elite formations. So while it's still easy, while it's still possible to win, uh, it's a bit of a bit dicey. So right now as I've not got a full stack and not necessarily a very good stack, I'm just going to let them let them be them. I'm not going to interfere. This tiny little region and Lombardy, which I don't really want. Nope. See, at some point, they're just going to declare on me. It's what's going to happen. But we can beat them in Portugal. They won't get in. Or if they do get in, well, it's because we've let them in. But yeah, we can grind them down in Portugal. And then my armies, replenished, will advance out to take the fight to them in Madrid and also in Gibraltar. I see the Russians can't interfere with my trade out of the Baltic, so they're trading. Oh no, they're only blockading trade with Sweden, who I'm not trading with. I believe I'm not trading with Sweden. Yep. So one turn gets them to the, to the trapping post and back. I'm not going to bother upgrading any of that. Ah, oh, there's Louisiana. So where are they going? So I want to see how their campaign finishes up. God, the Genoans are... Oh, God, the Genoans are on a tear. Poor... Oh, God. No, no intercept. So the Genoans are becoming there an empire. unused land suitable for farming in this region. The Ottoman... So Genoa... It's expanded to North America, they've taken Athens, and they've also then just taken Istanbul. So if I was... The, these two regions are going to fall rapidly. Ankara is the next stage. And then Baghdad. So diplomacy. Ottoman Empire. Very friendly. Let us trade. What? You'll be flogged for it. We like each other. Fine. Have lime juice. Ah, oh, damn, I thought I could trick the AI into taking a rubbish tech. Fine, how about punch card loom? But I'm trying, I'm trying to help you. Might move them up to Ankara, let's go up to Ankara actually, because I want to keep an eye on what's going on. Because if you know it hits Ankara then that's... Tricky times could develop. Great Jerusalem, because some war could still arise on this front. Let's upgrade the economy. And then it was Portugal, was where I saw all those hammers, wasn't it? It was indeed. See, now you like me again. Well, oh, no, that's to offset the university, isn't it? So I'll, I'll upgrade one of these. The other one's going to be ripe for dismantlement. 
But I may, I may, may as well ingrate, upgrade them both. They do earn me a bit of money, don't they? Oh no. But it makes people happy. Particularly lower classes, so. Hmm. Keep them down there. So Spain is going to do something. Spain's up to something. Yeah, commercial basin, commercial basin. Lots of steam powered factories. Commercial port in Newcastle. Keep upgrading my military buildings because at some point I will be fighting in India, so I want to be ready. Lots of tier 3 built, or well, final tier buildings being bought. Built Savannah's got their top building. I guess we might start drop, drop a few turns. So if I hopped over to Louisiana, who are you actually at war with? The Cherokee. So who are you going to really annoy? Is it going to be Spain? Genoa? Anyone? Someone? Or is it going to be Malta? If it took Malta, that'd be brilliant. Okay, so then let's take this... Move this army up to engage the Russian. Let's fight. Let's push them off of their our land. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Yes, let's push the Russians back. We can either wait for them to attack us, or we could be on the offensive and take the war to them. I'd much rather be on the front foot. Don't be afraid. Ha! Oh, I bet that did wonders to your staff and your troops around you. Don't worry, guys. Uh oh. Whoops, they got him. Poor bugger. King good. If he's a bad king, bad. If he's a bad king, good. If it's a good king, bad. So even though I've attacked them, I need to assault them. But what I want to do is actually just let them come at me. Because I have superior artillery. Well, oh, wow. So these are my 18 pounders. All grouped on one flank. Didn't necessarily mean to do that. Let's put you out here as well. I'll redeploy those when the actual battle starts, because that's really ugly at the minute. Actually, let's put the bulk of my cavalry up by my 18 pounders. Then let's put this lone cavalry by this unit. Oh, fire well off, please. Then my singular howitzer. And my general, my field marshal of Europe, no less. Do they have pistols? They must have pistols. Something sound flash of interest, song, sword arm, a deadly aim with a pistol. Their equipment is generally of the finest quality and their pay is often supplemented from the field marshal's own pocket. They have a sound financial interest in keeping him alive. Good. Well let's turn this off. Seeing it shoot all your friends in the back. We're not friends. You guys of this class wouldn't know guys of that class. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'll watch these 18 pounders get into action. Okay, now let's deploy my. Cavalry's going over to the left. Quick climb aim at the Grenadier Guards. To be honest, I would have liked my artillery to have focused them, but it's too late now. They're about to engage in a gunfight. Oh, good, actually, I might have a chance to hit their cavalry. No, stay, stay limbered. Too late. Nuts. 
That's what happens when you get misclicks, folks. Good. They're going to route before long. Where are you going? Garda Chaval. Oh. Yeah, it just blew up a gun team because these guys would have inexplicably advanced up to redeploy. Okay, so let's get my... You want to hit that militia? Because they're coming right at you. Move these guys out. Let's get the quick climb, start sniping the general's bodyguard. Move them up into positions ready to take advantage of. Well, not those pikemen. by Garda Cheval, which is not good because they're light infantry. There isn't many of them, that's positive at least. They're charging in the centre, but it's not going to work. Fire on the artillery or make them do round shot general. Let's bring my Royal Crossier Guards in. Let's just bring them in to hit them. I'll fire with this artillery. Yeah, winning slightly, but how long can you win for? That's the question. Actually, don't do that. Bad idea. Flying Diamond is going to smash into the Eastern European mercenaries. Granted, they're tired, but beautiful. I remember this time. Pierce through their formation. Definitely want to charge them down. Well, maybe make all my artillery do round shot, fire at this regiment of foot at the, at the rear. Not 
to go hit those guerrilla mercenaries because no one really is in a good spot to get for, to get here to for you to hit. Cossack infantry. You can smash straight into that unit of conscripts. Pull back. Just go hit that Cossack infantry, I suppose. Pierce into this formation. Oh. Halt fire. Just keep walking past their formation. Oh no, they've gone to square. So we'll lose troops out of this, but could well be worth it. Ooh, get ready. See, when they were wavering. No. Oh. Come away. Go away and run towards the direction they would route. General out. Let's take you. Yeah, just mop them up. So their infantry are charging. Charging my cavalry. Form the diamond and charge their infantry, I suppose. You can't run away from them forever. You're in front of your troops, so you go after those guerrilla mercenaries. Oh, and they're routing, so let's halt my well, artillery fire. You are a much more valuable target. Oh, nuts, I clicked the wrong... Ah, fine. <laughs> but oh well, we've managed to smash them. No dramas. 335 down to 3,264 3, lost. Who killed the most? Line infantry tenth tenty Flander. Oh, ever, just lots of experience across the board. And don't push in, just reinforce. Because they're gonna have to come to you, and that's a very rubbish force. So they're gonna try to sneak around you more than likely. So that stack is ready to rock and roll. So I don't have any buildings I can I don't have any villages I can build. Are they only gonna grow here? No. Got logging camps, fur trade posts. So if I capture Komi, I'd like to turn that into a Catholic school to start spreading mercenaries. Um no uh, missionaries. Mercenaries. Missionaries around. That'd be quite fun. I've sorted all that out. Yeah, you raided me. More recruitment. Cool. Still got loads of money. So crewing a general there. Well let's make something out of you. You sad looking man. Or well, if anything, I might actually ship you over to ship you over to France, because that's where the most of my cool stuff is being recruited, I think. Yeah, so you can just get that. Most guard artillery is not bad. No, I've got absolute buckets of elite French 
of elite French units to use. So let's ship you all over. Let's recover you. And let's uh, disembark my troops. Let's just place my navy. Let's place it in Hanover. Let's put you back into Calais. Okay, so let's do some recruitment. I want two units of 18 pounders, then I want two units of smaller artillery that have got a bit more rate of fire around them. Let's get two 12 pounders. Then I'm going to want some howitzers, one heavy horse, or two heavy horse howitzers, why not? So you've got one cavalry, so you need a second cavalry, so let's get a unit of... Uh, finish off the Gendarmerie de France. Not heavy cavalry, but not heavy cavalry isn't always needed. Then let's get two units of sharpshooters. Get the last Chasseur de Fischer. I'm probably destroying the uh, pronunciation here, but meh. Don't get the Chasseur à pied. Where's the, where's the Hessian Jaegers? Get one of you. Then let's get a unit of Royal Sudor. Because they look great. Wherever they are. There they are. Five unit, five turns to recruit it, because Strasbourg is churning out one unit at a time, but holy moly, they're cool looking units. Oh yeah, the four seasons, good. Another successful mission. Right, so I want to click end turn to see where the hell that Louisian Navy goes. Some Glen Austria is still looking westward. Need to keep my eye on you. Any turn now, I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, is it. Oh, farms in France need upgrading. No. Ooh. No, that's. No. So the eyes doing the smart thing. They're realizing their territory is worthless where it is for them. So they may as well trade it with something. If they, if I, they managed to sell Bosnia for 20, 20, 30 grand. That's a lot of, it's a lot of dollar. Oh, so Kiev's actually quite. Oh, that's all coming from Warsaw. Yeah, Russians keep knocking out the Austrians. Hmm. If oh so secret if I hope they go for Dresden, if they go for Dresden no Saxony Saxony that's the one, if they go for Saxony, I hope they win. Ah, there we go. So here's the question: Do I use this as the ex the excuse to kick off a world war, potentially? I think it is. So let's. So Austria, Louisiana, and Genoa are on my side. Spain has backed, has refused to join my side. So now we are at war with Sweden. So that army I'm recruiting may actually get um, redirected towards Scandinavia in response to this treachery. I can intercept you again, but I'm not gonna. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population so, grow over time. So what has happened? Well, so Sweden's declared on me. You need to 
hightail it back. Because you can, as you can see, Sweden has mobilised its na its na native forces. So what I may have to do is this provide a threat. And I don't want to attack Cherokee territory. I mean, I know they're probably going to take this back, which is fine. Or actually, I could just intercept them when they leave to prevent that. From yeah, I'll do that. So I'm providing an immediate threat to them from here. Then this army is going to be high turning it back at speed, but there's only so much it can do because it's in the middle of nowhere. Could have ran them back to a ship and sailed them, but they're still a few turns away from the ships anyway. and It would have been a decider. So let's go to Philadelphia. General's bodyguard. Infantry. Grenadiers. One grenadier. I've recruited all the grenadiers I can. Marines. Start off a second force. Let's go back to here. So Spain. On, they, they've they broken my alliance. So the door is open. Well, the door is open for them to declare war on me. They are seen as... But they are seen favourably from most of Europe. From Sweden, Genoa, Austria. They are positively viewed. Whereas I am only positively viewed by Austria. And the Ottomans, actually. And whoever that is. Black Hills, like me... Pueblo nations are kind of happy with me. New port emerges in Pennsylvania. So Hanover is a threat. So my Bulgaria, my Berlin garrison. Right, got to be very careful how I play this. So if I put, so if I move them out to tr to help threaten the Swedes. Pull this army back to Berlin to garrison it. You stay where you are. I want you to push for Dresden. Then this army will go capture it and be the conquering heroes. Sounds like a good plan to me. So let's go to France. Yeah, I'm upgrading some farms, but did I get them all? Mostly. Send a spy up here. Because Copenhagen is currently... Exposed. That's a semi-decent navy, so what have you got here? Uh, a, a, junk, a clanker navy. That's what you've got. It's not impacting my trade. It's about 20,000 gold a turn, but I've still got an absolute metric shit ton. So three units of infantry are coming in, and that's probably two of something else that's about to get to you. Well, one. Something else is probably going to make it there in time. But yes, the premise, at least, I've managed to... Well, yeah, you're in a good position to push Copenhagen, so... Let's expand you and let's get you some heavier artillery. So that's your four units of artillery coming in. Then you need some, probably... Two elites and the skirmishers, two garrison guards, that will do, and a unit of Hessian Jaegers to balance it out to even numbers. Cool. So let's go back up to here. Shoot this army just to hit them. It's probably going to be an auto resolve. Yeah, it is. Bring them back into a good position, because their job would be to go finish off the uh, the Mughals. Let's keep upgrading. So I do that. Then let's do. You're being upgraded, you're being upgraded, you're being upgraded. Cool, so you're on the move, but this army on here from the south is moving up. You've pretty much got a very light Native American-ish army, so they may take Cayuga. If they do, then the army being raised in Philadelphia will be able to stow them down and stop them. Let's just keep upgrading just to stop the hammers from showing up. There we go. To be honest, I might just recruit some... Ah, oh, 
We're going to recruit one Hessian line. Let's recruit a bunch of infantry here just to spit out joint forces. Not going to upgrade anything here because it'll just help them out. Let's upgrade you. Actually, let's just check my industry in general. Because this is the point where Sweden could interdict my trade. But at the same time, having a good tax base kind of nullifies that quite a lot. Because it means that most of your money explicitly doesn't come from trade. Okay, so I'm going to hit end turn. Watch what they do. And then... Because I'm not afraid... Because I will engage them with my navy. I just want to see what, what the reaction is this immediate turn. Because... They should, in theory, garrison Copenhagen. That would make sense. If they don't this turn, I might just sprint my army on up there to take... And then wait for my artillery train to catch up. Ah, the Austrians have beaten the Russians. Ah, oh, they just left them. So they're just going to be running around in the rear areas. How nice. Unless they go for Saxony anyway, which would be hilarious. But it must prepare for the dismantling of Spanish power. Yep, all their troops have gone back into garrison. It's not long now. They hate me, and we're no longer allies. So they have the authority, air quotes, to actually do something. But I just need to be pretty careful of how I actually do it. We're not pretty careful. Lisbon's more than enough to hold against the stacks in Spain. Um, if I need to, I'll churn out even more armies in Europe, send more south, send more north, send more east, just churn out more troops. Opportunity to intercept. Hmm. It's cool. Oh, troubles, I don't know which one this is. Is this the one that's down here? Oh no, it is the one. It is my garrison force. Cause it, they have to come around here. Ooh. Well, I think I'm going to do this, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.